Hi, this is Brendan Cronin. A lot of optometrists have requested a wet lab on punctal plug insertion. That's difficult to do. We can't really do it on each other. There's no real models for it. So I've done a quick video here explaining their technique. It really should make it very easy for you to learn to insert punctal plugs. You can see I've marked the lower puncture of an eye here. It's normally the lower puncture that we occlude with punctal plugs. The upper puncture can be occluded, but it's more difficult to occlude with a punctal plug. It doesn't drain as many tears away as the lower puncture. And so generally the lower puncture does about 70% of the tear drainage into the best plug to start with when considering this as a treatment. I want to demonstrate here that the lacrimal canaliculus can take different shapes. You can see here I've got a vertical orientation and then there's almost a right angle turn to the canaliculus. Some people will have a more obtuse angle and some people will even have a curved type appearance to their nasolacrimal system. It's important to understand these differences. And the important point here isn't the differences, is but the way you can overcome them. And that is by putting lateral traction on the lower eyelid to pull it out laterally and that straightens up that nasolacrimal system so that there's a nice smooth curve, no oblique angles to allow insertion of a dissolving or temporary punctal plug. You can see that I've done that here. So here you'll see me inserting a lower lid dissolvable plug. These ones are made by Oasis and they last six months. You need some non-toothed fine forceps. They're easy to hold and they're tinted blue to make it easy to see. The patient just has a drop of local anesthetic in their eye. They don't need any more. It's very comfortable and very quick for patients. You'll see I put that lateral traction on the lower lid. I put it into the puncture and that lateral traction then allows me to go around the corner and I push the plug a little bit along the canaliculus with the forceps. Here I'm doing it on the patient's left eye. Plug goes in, sometimes there's a small amount of pressure as that happens. It's never uncomfortable. I push it in a little bit and then put that lateral traction on to push it down along the canaliculus so that it sits there nicely. Patients do not feel these. I will demonstrate a permanent plug. These are non-dissolving, they're made from silicon. They can cause some irritation for seven to 10 days and it's important to warn patients of that. These are called a painless plug distributed by Spectrum Surgical in Australia. It just goes vertically into the canaliculus, again, local anesthetic in the eye only, and sits there. A little cap is visible above the puncture. I normally try dissolving plugs first to see if they work and then consider the permanent plugs as they're more expensive. Quick, very easy to insert for optometrists. No other equipment is required. 